It's springtime here in Alaska. That means them moose calves running all over the yard. Hi folks, I'm my Ozark Dan. Gonna show you here on the game farm how we make that Alaskan veal. <laughs> Our wranglers here, Dirk and Buffy Wick, out keep a close eye on these moose right from their living room window. They're back. <laughs> And we start training these moose young to kneel down like that, make it easier to put the saddle on them. Down, boy. That's a good boy. Now down on both knees. There's the boy. Hey, what's that in my ear? That feels really funny. That bumblebee flew right in my ear. That ain't nothing. I had a fly up my nose. This big cow likes to stay right around the house the first couple weeks with her newborn calves. Partly because there's uh, no, no wolves or bears. Uh, we don't let them bears come around the house too much. And they just eat them calves up they could. Out in the wild, only about 20% of these calves have survived through the first summer. That's account of the bears eat them. Uh, so they're a lot safer they stick around the game ranch here. Especially up here in the open, we keep an eye on them. And it's not so buggy either, because uh, they're out in the open here, and you see it's kind of windy. And then the wind makes these calves feel pretty spunky. You see them playing around here. This, this must be some sort of instinctive behavior they're kicking their feet up like that because it's only about a week old. Hey, is that the only song you know there? I don't play something different. My gosh. Probably getting ticked off about something. Listen to me, Williams. You didn't wonder to like it before. Just take a little nibble at least. This is definite. No, okay. It's not good. Look. Oh god. <laughs> he went to fight with the rhubarb. 
These calves got to taste everything they can, you know, but he don't know quite what to think about that rhubarb. That's a rhubarb patch there. And he says, that don't taste natural to me. I ain't going to eat that. So he decided he better stomp it. Here's why she don't let them nurse very often. <laughs> Did you hear that trumpet and noise she made out here? We'll play it again for you. After they made that little circuit around back in the back of the house and they most usually walk right down the driveway and you can see they're gonna go right by the pickup there later on we teach them how to get right in the back of that pickup in case we want to take them for a little ride somewhere and then they walk right by the dog yard the dog bark like crazy of course but they don't seem to bother them they got you some dogs and of course there, there's fence around the dog yards so the dog can't get out and once the dog or once the moose get on down the end of the driveway, they used to just disappear in the woods there. And then about three hours later, we hear that barking, they'd be back again. Now later on come summertime, we'd probably just find some old lake and swim away. That'd be it. And she'd be back next year with some more calves, yeah.